Hi everyone, uh, this is Steve Gaynor, the Community Coordinator for SocialBizUG.org, and I would like to welcome with open arms Mr. Keith Strickland, our Member of the Month. Uh, Keith, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing good. Excellent. It's a beautiful day here in Atlanta. Now, I'm sorry, say it again? Say it's a beautiful day here in Atlanta. Well, for once, we have a nice one as well. Uh, so uh, let's get this started. Um, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, what's your job title? Who do you work for? Um, what do you like best about your work? Well, I'm one of the original co-founders of uh, Red Pill Development. Uh, we started back in October of 2012. 2012? Yes, 2012. And uh, we offer notes and domino modernization services to uh, corporations who are looking at the modernization nightmare of modernizing you know a hundred plus or a thousand ten thousand applications um, and then once they realize that wow this is going to cost millions of dollars because we're going to put at least two hundred hours into each app uh, they kind of need a solution and and we hope to provide that solution Excellent. And, and, and you're one of the founders, right? Yes. Uh, it's uh, myself, Nathan Freeman, and uh, uh, Peter Presnell. He's our CEO. And um, we've been doing all right here. <laughs> Well, congratulations on that. Uh, so I, I think you mentioned that uh, you're from Atlanta. Uh, were you pretty impacted by the storms that we've had? Uh, other than a rescue mission uh, to go get one of my family members, not too bad. I pretty much stayed indoors, but uh, the rescue mission was uh, quite the adventure. Nine hours to go about 20 miles round trip. Um, you had trucks sliding off the road that were just sitting there and they would start to slide on the ice and jackknife and run into cars and were off the road or into the median it just it was just gridlock it was I've never seen anything like that well it, it, we've had a lot of snow but it's not been that bad here in Massachusetts all right so I was reading your blog um, the um, desert of the surreal and I have a couple of questions on it uh, first how and why did you come up with that name well, whenever we started Red Pill Development, um, we were and still are using uh, graph technology, and we were looking at Neo 4J, which is you know based off of the movie The Matrix uh, with Neo, and um, and our the name of our company was Red Pill Development, and that's also in line with with The Matrix, and uh, that was one of the uh, lines from Morpheus in, in the Matrix was welcome to the desert of the surreal and so that's kind of how it how it came about that's outstanding as much as I like movies I I should have known that so, <laughs> um, okay so then second I was reading your post about troubleshooting X pages uh, and in that post you recommend um, using uh, Google Chrome for client-side troubleshooting now I kind of grew up uh, using Firefox. So why do you recommend Chrome over Firefox? Well, I do a lot of mobile development using the extension library mobile controls. Um, and honestly, Google Chrome renders it much better. Um, also, the developer tools are second to none. You don't have to install any secondary plugins. Like with Firefox, you have to install Firebug. Firebug doesn't come with Firefox. It, you have to go get it. Um, and Google Chrome also has a pretty rapid upgrade cycle, whereas, well, Firefox has now met that. Um, and so that were that was the main reasons behind it. And, and mainly ease of use of the developer tools. They're right there. You just right click inspect element and you got the developer tools up and all of that at your fingertips. Um, all right, then, um, um, if you can talk about it, I understand if you can't, but if you can talk about it, uh, can you tell me a little bit about the last job, or, or your current job, whichever applies, uh, that you worked on, what challenges you had, and, and how you overcame them? Wow. Well, um, the team at Red Pill, we came from GBS uh, on the Transformer project. And everybody knows 
how the transformer project turned out. And, and so to figure out how to modernize hundreds or thousands of applications in as little time as, as possible, preferably, well, well, our goal is a week. No matter how many applications you have, we'll come in, we'll modernize all of them, you know, put a modern front end on all of them and not modify any of the design elements that are currently in your notes database. And so that's a fairly tall order. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and to figure out, okay, how do you render, you know, how do you decide let's say just what type of field to render on a form where all you have is data in a document um, and a document has no knowledge of the design it's just basically a Java map you know a field name with a value and so I, I would say that that's probably been the biggest challenge is to try to figure out okay should we show a combo box here should we show um, a number spinner should we show you know it does it hold multiple values so we can use select two to select multiple values um, and then if it's a keyword field how do we get the keywords where do we get those from how do we display them or can you choose multiple values can you add new values all, all this I mean when you break down that one little problem it doesn't seem to be too much but it, even that one little thing is in how to decide what type of field to put on a form it, that's a rather large task and we were able to, to actually pull it off you get the keywords you get the correct type of field and, and everybody's been really pleased with that and, <laughs> and that, that's it, outstanding it, man I don't mean okay. to cut you off right yeah, yeah no no not at all because I'll ramble on it. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> so do I. Um, all right. Then I have uh, what is possibly the most important question of the interview. What's your favorite movie and why? And I might already know that, but let's get... <laughs> well, it's not what you would think. Well, I do like Matrix uh, series. Um, I kind of like the stupid comedies more than anything. If I had to pick a favorite, I'd have to say, Oh, brother, where art thou? Uh, Great movie. Uh, my more recent favorite, which will probably go away soon, is is uh, is Star Trek Into Darkness. And of course, I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan, and and uh, and Harry Potter. So to pick one, that's a that's tough. <laughs> but I always fall back to the you know just the stupid comedies, you did know you, that has silly humor in it. Did you like Dumb and Dumber? Uh, Jim Carrey gets on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. <laughs> that's um, oh, um, that's how I feel about Steve Martin. Oh, okay. When Steve Martin did uh, stand up, I thought he was hilarious, and yes. then once he started doing movies, I just find him annoying. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I agree with that. Now his later movies are really good. I like his later movies, but his early movies, I really didn't care that much for them. So, uh, I, I actually have a bonus question for you, and this is all because of uh, my last interview with Kathy Brown. Because uh, Kathy recommended um, a, a TV show that was on Netflix, and based on her recommendation, I just binge-watched the entire series. <laughs> so, I want to ask you, do you TiVo or Netflix or, or anything like that a particular show on TV, and if so, which one? Uh, here lately, uh, my favorite has been The Blacklist uh, with J uh, James Spader. Um, that, that's one of my can't miss, and, and I also like Counting Cars over on the History Channel a lot. Excellent. All right, Keith, I think that's all the time we have. I do appreciate you taking the time to talk with me. Um, sure, thank, thank you. you. Uh, and uh, uh, I wish you no more ice down in Atlanta. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, and I will see you on the site. All right. All right. Bye -bye. Thanks, Dave.